Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. So last night after I got home from class, I had an email from iTunes saying my podcast has been accepted and that I was now going to appear in a few hours on the iTunes store. And when I checked this morning, there I was in living color. So if you're an Apple person, um, you can now act, uh, subscribe to this podcast on iTunes. And I encourage you to do so. So, um, oh, and, and also, uh, this is uh, the first, yesterday's episode was the first episode where I made part of my regular process to upload a video to YouTube, so so that so that's I think I figured out how I'm going to work that into my existing process because I got it kind of down to the science. I'm at 330. I think yesterday's was 335. Um, so yeah, there's. Uh, uh, I just actually just posted this morning a link that to both iTunes and to YouTube. If if YouTube is your preferred method of consuming. Well, then by all means, go check it out there. I've created a playlist. I don't know if you can subscribe directly to a playlist. I don't, I don't do a ton of videos at this point. Um, I just got very few. Um, you could see something like my sister-in-law waggling her butt in the camera once. Uh, I'll have to talk about that at some point. Uh, and a couple other minor silly things that I've uploaded there, but... I, I, I've, you know, I've never really, for me, YouTube has been about consuming, not about creating. So I don't have a ton there. I'm not going to be uh, uploading the other 333 episodes that I've recorded uh, on YouTube. Uh, that's just way too much work. So if you're listening to this via YouTube and, and you want to hear some of the past history, Um, you can go to penslinger.com and they're all there as audio files that you can, you know, link to or listen to right, right from the, from, from the website there. I'm actually, I had the thought occur to me this morning of maybe going through mine and and grabbing kind of like a a greatest hits or the ones that I, I felt were, 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 were kind of the best and maybe uploading a few of those. And so I might try to do that. I thought that. I thought that probably would be uh, an interesting idea uh, to get you know get a little more content up on YouTube there for, for the ramblings of an undisciplined mind podcast. But uh, I'm not going to do the do the whole shebang. I might just do a greatest hits, and no promises on when I'm going to get around to doing that. So the title of today's episode is "I'm a Moron." I, I had another one of those moments yesterday, so. I had a test in my accounting class. This was test number two. And tests mean scantrons. And scantrons, if you are not in the know, are those little slips of paper with the, you got to circle in the, the choices on a multiple choice or a true and false, you know, A, B, C, D, E, and you circle it in and you have to use a number two pencil. And I had a pencil in my bag of tricks, otherwise known as my backpack, that was a number two pencil that was labeled as a number two pencil. I've got another pencil in there that is a Green Bay Packers pencil that I think is also a number two. I'd have to look at the package again. I think I got that tucked in a drawer somewhere. But I don't, I don't, it doesn't say on the pencil. So I wasn't 100% sure. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I need to get a number two pencil. And I kind of looked around work if there was any laying around there that I could just borrow for the night. Uh, and what and what wooden pencils we have did not appear to be just number two pencils. It has to be number two. It's something about the, the mixture of the graphite in it that allows the Scantron machine to pick it up. It's probably a reflectivity thing. I don't know. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, I didn't see anything at work. So that well, I'll go. I'll go to the the building next door to the building where my class is at. Is where the bookstores, the college bookstore is at. This is at the community college. So I got there and I walked over to the bookstore, and 
and I, you know, they had these pencils for sale uh, at, at the counter, and they were 30 cents, number twos, you know, for just such reasons. They were even pre-sharpened. Yeah, 30 cents, you know, a couple cents tax, done, you know. We get the test, and he's like, no scantrons this time, just circle the letter on your paper. And that's when I realized I was a moron. Because for the first test, he had us do scantrons. But he didn't, he didn't grade them through the machine. He, he still hand graded them. And he said he was going to hand grade them. So I was like, you idiot. I could have used, I, I, I actually prefer mechanical pencils. That's my go-to writing device. And I have a couple in my bag. I could have used that. The second way I was a moron during the test was there was this one problem I could not figure out. We were supposed to be doing a variable costing income statement, and I thought I had the structure correct. I wasn't 100% certain, but I thought I had the structure correct, but I could not come up with an answer that was anywhere near you know, the, the multiple choice answer, because the whole thing was like, you, know, you had to do the math, but then you had a choice of four answers, and I was just like, and I, and I struggle with this thing and struggle with this thing. And finally, I went up to the instructor and, and you know, he'll help you a little bit. I mean, if there's, if there's something that's like the key concept that he wants you to learn from this problem, he won't tell you that. But if there's like some little side help uh, that he can give, he will. So I went up and said, I must be missing something really basic. I think I got the structure down. But I just can't get, and he's looking at it, and he's confused. He's like, okay, well, let me look at the answer for this thing, and I'll let you know. So I, I, keep, I get working on the next problem, and he finally comes over, and he's looking at it again. He's looking over my shoulder, and then he notices my revenue figure, which is the very first freaking figure. I've only recalculated that about four times on my calculator, and I did it again because he asked me to, and I transposed a number. So instead of 170000 it came out to 107000 And that was the difference. Moron! So I thought last night as I was driving home, I should do one about how I'm a moron. And I was thinking of the pencil thing. And I, I was trying to think of other ways that I was a moron. And I, I honestly could not think of one. And I'm just like, come on! I know there's plenty of times I've been a moron. And, you know, I thought of one this uh, this morning. And then, of course, the floodgates open. And I got, oh, there's this one. And there's this one. And there's this one. So, <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of times I've been a moron. Oh, uh, let's see. A select one. Well, there was the time I was, we, we had these screen windows in our, our screen, what do you call them? Screens, I guess. You just call them screens. Moron. <laughs> we have these screens in our windows at the house. And there's this one window on the second floor where the window just kept, where the screen kept popping out. And, and but, but it was a window we wanted to be able to open in the summer because it helps make a cross breeze. So I decided I'm just going to drill this bad boy into the, into the, uh, into the window. And so I, I get one screw drilled in. And I'm doing the second one. And apparently I got too close to the edge of the glass of the outer pane. And psh, splinter. That's just like, ah, jeez. And of course it was right over our air conditioner intake. And then we were like going home. We were going away for the weekend. And so I was just kind of petrified that that thing was going to fill up with little bits of, of glass. Uh, because it's like the safety glass, so it kind of breaks up in these chunks. So, yeah, that was a moron. I did. Fortunately, it's double pane glass, so it, you know, it was summertime, so it wasn't like, you know, we were open to the elements. The way that fixed. Um, I think probably the one of the stupidest things I've ever done is, is I've got this area where I've been building... I've been building a, um, there's a little flower bed 
thing there, and I've been building this wooden, using some some old wood I got laying around. You building this wooden barrier, I guess, uh, between the grass and between the flower bed, and I'm using these little chunks of wood that are that are you know like half a half a foot tall, and I would I would dig out a little bit and I would tap them down, but you know sometimes I pound them down with my hammer, and then I nail them together. And I've been doing this, and and I'm still not done with it. Actually, um, I, I need to finish it. I did not finish. I don't think I'm going to get get it done this year, um, but I'll finish it next year. But I know what I need to do because uh, I actually changed my mind what I'm, how I'm going to finish it up. So it's probably just as well that I didn't get it done because I didn't get that idea until I was more the lawn. But so I, this is probably two years ago. I was working on this thing, and I was going great guns, and, you know, as I'm, as I'm pounding the one down, I'm holding on with my left hand, I'm holding on to the rest of, you know, this little fence that I'm building here, and apparently I was a little too close to the one I was pounding down, and I was pounding it, I mean, I was... I've got this nice, heavy Stanley hammer, and I was wailing. I was putting some force behind it, and I was wailing. And, I, and um, I go, pound, 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 pound. And then, I don't know if, if, like, it's one of those things where you aim for it, you look at it. If, like, I, for some reason, looked at my hand or whatever. But I pounded my middle finger on my left hand so hard um, and I was just like oh. I mean I was I was literally crying um, it hurt so bad and uh, I ended up losing the nail on that finger I think I actually broke the tip the bone tip of the finger because it's it's never quite felt right even to this day it healed up it doesn't hurt I got the fingernail back you can't even tell to look at it I can tell feeling it but. Yeah, so that was a time when I was a moron. Um, I have cut my cable line uh, with my shovel uh, twice, I think. I started making jokes on the internet that uh, I I had an evil shovel (laughs) that could take out any any kind of utility. But, uh, yeah, mainly I was a moron. Fortunately, the shovel, that shovel broke, and I got a new one, and a new one seems to be more pacifistic when it comes to uh, various forms of uh, utility lines, so that's good, but, yeah, so that's just a few times when I was a moron, so, I guess, you know, what what better introduction to YouTube and iTunes can I possibly give than an episode all about how I'm an idiot? There you go. You've seen behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, I'll try to be smarter tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's about it for today. However you listen to this, I, I am grateful that you're listening. I know there's around 50-ish. Uh, I have to, for various reasons, I have to amalgamate various figures to come up with a total subscriber count. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I appreciate you. Um, so, but let's see, today is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, and I'll be back on the road then. So I'll be talking to you on Thursday. And until then, be seeing you. <laughs>